Hi, it's Andre again, and I'm here to show you switch notes in Charles Engine. It will allow you to make even more elaborate projects. So here I am in a brand new scene that's been initialized with Charles Engine, and I'm going to work with dialogues. No need to reiterate that. Uh, I'm creating a new tree. We will only need one, and I will, you know, create again some very, you know, for very really like simple, simple dialogue flow. But here comes the fun part. I want to use the switch. Again, I can either create it by dragging by dragging the you know uh, right click connect and then doing switch, or I can uh, you know cancel it and create it right from the video node I'm not going to use. So like right click and create switch node. And what switch does? That it uh, has lines, each one holding one variable, and it evaluates those variables inside the switch, those lines, from top to bottom. And the first one that is true gets executed and it will take us, you know, into the desired path. Suppose we want to make an interview that is aware of what we've said earlier, what, whom we've talked to earlier, what we chose earlier. So, you know, I'll create a new variable that will be, I guess, like, I know, for the sake of like clarity, let's create a new folder that will be called ooh, switch wires. wires. And I will add a new variable, a variable boolean, and let's call it, you know, I I like to think about FME games as games about animals, I don't know why, so I'll just like say, was it an elephant, because everybody loves elephants, right? So this will keep track of whether we previously visited elephants. And now we can go back and use this switch. So, you know, that will be a first line. So I'll click edit here. Uh, the first line, you can see the color indication there. So it's like a red and red uh, arrow. So it's very clearly visible. And I'll go start. And here we've seen these. This is a condition editor window. So I'll just select my, you know, select my elephant, visited elephant. And if the elephant is, uh, you know, true, uh, then it will go into that video. Again, I can choose to check it for not true, you know, but think about it as a, as a condition, right? So like each line in switch is its own condition and the first one that is true uh, will be executed. So, you know, this one, because the default value is not true, would be false. But if I go that one, it will be true. But anyway, let's suppose we, were, we visited the elephant, so we want to, you know, see, check if the visited elephant is true, if we've been there and talked to the elephants, and if yes, then let's go to the video that will be, you know, a song. Everybody likes a song after visiting elephants. And now empty, the other one will be, you know, empty. And empty in switch means that it's always true. So, you know, uh, we don't have to put anything in there. It's like we could, but we don't have to because it's always empty. And since the switch gets ev evaluated from top to bottom and the first first true rules, then, you know, we're all set. And let's suppose we want to go with so far so good. It's just for example. So now we can try it and, you know, let's go. What? Mm -hmm. So far so good. Mm -hmm. Is it there works. anything else you'd like you to know? know? Our visited elephants is false because if we like double check it right there, the default value is false. And what happens if I like, click it? What would happen automatically, as we've seen in previous tutorials, when I would use what? it, for example, in the visited box? Now it automatically switched oh, baby, into baby. the singing. How was I supposed See? to know that something wasn't right here? So that was switches. Very easy to use, very convenient. If I go back, I can like very easily with the plus sign add a lot more like different conditions for switch to, to evaluate. Uh, and it can be very easily used to like, you know, as a sort of as a sort of like crossroads that would point your player, you know, in the direction that you know, takes in account the things that happened earlier in your game. So it adds a lot of flexibility for you and a lot of new tools to tinker with when you're making your FME game.